Hello, hello. All right, we are gonna talk about libido and orgasms and how they can actually improve your health. And no, I'm not like a sex therapist. That's not what this is. This is very much related to the work I do in helping with hormonal balance and the issues that women are having and just why having an orgasm a week can help improve those symptoms on top of our nutrition and our exercise and supplement strategies. There's things that you can do yourself self-care wise to help these symptoms improve. So I'm gonna go through a little bit of this and things that maybe you did not know um, and why you should work to do this once a week. So I actually will put this in protocols for clients, especially those that are suffering for some with some severe hormonal imbalances or I have clients that are trying to lose weight so that they become pregnant. Um, this, this is in their protocol to have have an orgasm once a week. Um, and having an orgasm helps to increase your LH, your luteinizing hormone, your follicular stimulating hormone, FSH, and your progesterone. All needed to get pregnant, but more importantly, to stay pregnant. So having an orgasm, first and foremost, for those of you with fertility, um, that is one thing um, that can help, help in that process. So uh, I've just got my list here because there's 10 things that I want to make sure that I hit because it can do a lot for you. Um, so first, or not first, I already said first, the other thing, um, but it can help decrease autoimmune issues. So if you have lupus or you got Hashimoto's or we have any of these autoimmune disorders, it can actually help reduce symptoms um, with those um, disorders, those autoimmune diseases. So there's a bonus number one. Um, and, and in my weekly check-ins with my clients, I ask every week, like, how is your libido? Because um, we need to make sure, because if it's off, that there's a hormonal imbalance there for sure. And we need to figure out what is going on. So just like I ask about digestion, I ask about your, your sex drive every week. It's just as important for overall health. Um, so that's why I'm talking about this today. So it's, don't be like shy or, you know, think it's taboo. It's not. This is health related, health related. Okay. Um, if you have irregular cycles, it can help regulate your menstrual cycles. Just having an orgasm once a week can do all of this, seriously. Because of the rush of hormones that are released that comes, the blood flow, um, the increase in blood flow, all of this kind of stuff has this like cascading um, reaction that can help reduce symptoms or improve other symptoms. So that's basically what's going on simplified <laughs> to do it. Um, I guess it can help um, with cycles. It can help regulate cycles. It can help reduce cramps with cycle and it can help reduce PMS symptoms with your cycles, okay? Um, it also is, it has huge anti-aging property. <laughs> Big anti-aging property, okay? Because when we uh, have an orgasm, we release these hormones that um, uh, release all these great um, anti-inflammatory chemicals that work against the pro-aging hormones. So those hormones that are trying to increase this aging, it helps to fight off those hormones. So of any anything anti-aging. It's an anti-ager. So do that. Um, and then the other, it can reduce migraines. Okay. So the next time like you want to tell your husband, oh, I got a headache. I can't, you need to go and do it <laughs> to improve your symptoms. It will help with those migraine symptoms. Okay. Um, so, all right, at the top 10, I've got them written down here. So I don't miss anything is it will help you live longer. All right. And for all the reasons that I stated earlier, it will help you look and feel younger. It decreases autoimmune symptoms. It can increase mood and decrease anxiety. Okay. There's a big one. It increases circulation. It increases or decreases stress and promotes relaxation. Um, you can, like I said, you can have easier periods, more regular periods, reduce PMS symptoms and reduce cramping. Okay. Uh, it can provide migraine relief. And then, like I stated at the very beginning of this, um, video, it can boost fertility and help you sleep better. Okay. So lots of reasons there to, um, have an orgasm a week. Okay. So keep that in mind, even though on the times, maybe when you don't feel like it, you're exhausted, you're feeling this, that, and the other, that it can help you feel better when you're feeling like that. Okay. Think of it for your overall health, living longer, anti-aging properties, reducing symptoms, improving cycles, balancing hormones, all that kind of stuff. So 
Hope this was helpful for you. Give me a thumbs up or you don't have to if you're embarrassed that to let somebody know that you watched this video. I, I mean, I don't care. Like I talk about pooping, I talk about orgasms, I talk about all the stuff because you have to, you have to. Uh, I'm currently reading a book right now that is just, I think everybody should read, it's called Metabolical. And it talks about how our medical system addresses symptoms. It does not address underlying issues. And that's why we're getting into this state that we are. We have the best medical system in the world and we have the sickest people. So explain that one to me, figure that out. So they're like this, you know, having an orgasm a week, um, doing walks, pooping every single day. These are little things, not, well, these are big things, big things, but big things that take little work to do to have big results. Does that make sense? Anyways, okay. Okay. All right. So thanks for checking this video out and um, you can find all my program information on my website, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, but this is, this is part of the work that I do. So see you later.